Hello, it is I, Dr. Brian Lorgon111, and welcome back to Knit Underground. Last time we explored a bit more of the world. Near the end of the episode, we found a wind pixie, uh, or at least Dora called it out as a wind pixie, who talks in Morse code. And I translated that text after the last episode, and she says, Hi, actually, I'm a sky pixie. <laughs> So apparently we're going to have a Sky Pixie now in our inventory, who I imagine eventually we're going to bring somewhere. I'm still not sure exactly what to think of this game. I appreciate many parts of it, um, but it's pretty weird. Here is the... Uh, Rao is called a Wind Pixie here, but actually she's a Sky Pixie. Um... Here's what the map looks like. We're actually relatively close to one of the bells, so I'm going to make a concerted effort today to try to make it over in that direction and see if we can get to and possibly ring one of the bells. I don't know if that's going to happen. I also am curious to know, based on kind of other misinterpretations of human artifacts and things, like is it actually going to be a bell that we find over here? Or is it going to be something else? I think the lore of this world so far has been that ringing the bells will awaken old gods who will somehow protect us from whatever happens in the 600th year that destroys the world. Or something along those lines. But I'm not going to worry too much about any aspects of seeing all of the map or such things. And instead focus on just trying to get over to a bell square. Which it looks like might not be possible over here because it looks like this is just a save point. That looks to be a dead end. So unless there is a secret way to go down and right from here, I may need to go a different way to get to there. So I'll briefly explore for some secrets along here, but I have a feeling it's one of the other ways that I need to go. Is there any way to go down through these little platforms? It doesn't seem like it. And it also doesn't seem like there's anything hiding over there. We'll also take a look along the right-hand side here. Is there a secret over here? Ooh, there is. Okay. So, before I move, right now there's a right wall on my map. And if I walk in here, now the right wall is no longer there and it shows the little secret opening. So it is the case that those are only revealed on the map after you've actually found them. All right. And it's a good thing that the bell was over here because that gave me a reason to go secret hunting, specifically in this region. And looks, at the moment, like this might actually turn out to be fruitful. So I'm somewhat hopeful that we're going to be able to make our way over there. Um, perhaps I could do this? No. Perhaps I could do... Let's see, what's my plan here? I guess if I turn into Bob... Have I been on this screen before? This feels familiar. I'm not sure why. I turn to Bob, and then climb up to this side, then I could maybe do that again. Uh, mm, let's, how am I gonna bounce high enough? So I need to do this. Uh, no, I'm having trouble keeping all of my momentum. What if I do this? No, it's not gonna work. Hmm. Can I get up to there? It looks like I might need a power. Eh, there might be a way to climb it, though. I'm going to spend a little bit of effort on this for a couple of minutes. Oh, hey! I did manage to do that. Okay, so maybe this is possible. Um, alright. That's really tough to do. Yeah, hmm. I don't think I can climb any higher, though. Oh, that wasn't even close. <laughs> um, let's see if I can even just repeat that. That was already quite a feat, actually. So what I did was I just, from the left wall, 
managed to have me jump off, turn to Bob for momentum, and then turn back into me just as approaching the right wall. Ah, that's really hard to do. And it looks like it's even like a narrower opportunity, like window of opportunity. I need to make sure I, oh, I just realized something. Me can get some upward momentum as she leaves the wall by jumping off of it. And that upward momentum can transfer to Bob. So I need to jump off the wall first. Trans, uh, transmute, I don't even know. Change into Bob second use the upward momentum and then add rightward momentum and then change back okay so i okay but i also hit my head as me i think there so i need to start from slightly below the top so from like here jump yes that's how i do that move so can i do it again here yes and, but now I'm stuck because there's no way I could possibly gain more height and end up over there, right? Yeah, I think so. So I think I did learn more about my movement capabilities and I don't think I can bounce back as high. I think something with a screen transition or Bob might have a maximum height that he can bounce. But I did learn a little bit more about the capabilities and limitations of my characters through that. So that was useful. Okay, well I'm gonna save these bits on my map and continue exploring in the other direction. That's also toward the bell. Okay, so I've never been to the screen right of here. And there is a wall and the buttons on the other side and it looks like I might be able to get around there from a different way. Actually, this also reminds me of a screen that had like a secret entrance below it. Hmm. So I might keep my eye out for that. And remind me how I get from here to there. Right, we're in this mazy bit. But this part, the maze, is not too bad. So we can just retraverse it here. And so I think the question becomes, is there possibly a secret way to go upwards from here? There's definitely some evidence of something up there. And I guess actually that evidence looks like it may have come from the screen over here going to the right. Was there a secret way to go to the right anywhere in here? Not that I can find. Hmm. Is there another possible way to go upwards? I'm trying to test things a little bit with Bob. Is there any way that I could go like this? Oops, hold on, Bob. Get right in between. Yeah, Bob's not gaining any height. I think on the screen transition, he loses, like, momentum or something. But it definitely looks like there's something up and in there. Have I tried using Bob to go any of these places? See if there's any holes in the ceiling? Doesn't seem like there are. Oops, didn't mean to hit that. However, I didn't go up here. So let's try up and left. Well, I guess up on the left-hand side. More of these pretty things. Is there anything up here? It would appear not. And over here... Ah, I've not been on this side of this. I could open that and go back down, but where I haven't been is upward. So let's go this way. I imagine we're about to be sent on a quest. Joy, hi there. I must ask you to turn back. This pack only takes you to the fire bell, and it's a very dangerous place. This is me, Sprocket. She's on a mission to ring this bell. You shouldn't worry about her. Me, like, eats danger for breakfast. <laughs> I'm sorry, dear. Actually, perhaps I'll let you in if me proves she can handle herself out here. How exactly do we do that? If you bring me five glyphs, I'll believe it. Bring me five glyphs. And when you've got to look at the glyphs, me gets them back. 
No, why? I'll keep them, of course. Obviously. We only have one glyph. I'll let you in if you add eight coins on top of that. We don't have eight coins. Interesting. Okay, so... Currencies. Uh, glyphs. Remind me what counts as a glyph. Is this a glyph? It's an arrow. I guess that might be a glyph. And I currently have, like, six coins, so there might be... You can choose how to pay different things. But at least we found a path. A possible way to get over to the fire bell. So that's progress of a sort. And now that I'm back down here, hmm. Even if we did get up to the fire bell that way, though, there's still these screens nearby that I don't know how to get into, which really strongly suggests to me I mean, I guess it's possible that we'd have to take teleports through the disorder in order to get to some of these screens. Or some other, you know, mechanism I don't know about yet in order to possibly get there. Is there... hmm, hold on. Directly above where I'm standing here, it almost looks like there's a hole in the ceiling. I don't think I'd be able to bounce that high, though. Yeah, even if I stood from the higher up spot, I don't think I could get up there. Yeah, I'm reaching that point where it feels like I need to possibly quit just taking everything in the world for granted and start trying to really push up against some of the boundaries in order to make some progress. Otherwise, I'm just going to end up with a map that ends up being you know, like 85% filled out <laughs> and a bunch of mysteries I just have to retrace. Um, but yeah, I'm still not sure what to do anywhere around there because I did just kind of press against some of those screens. So let's, let's look around and see what else we might find. Oh my goodness. All right, we just fell down deep down past a bunch of lava. And this brings us back around to, I guess, the screen to the right is where we appeared when we went through the disorder. Yes, I was standing on that little spot in the middle when I just somehow like escaped out of one of the disorder exits that I still don't really understand. <laughs> so now I guess we'll continue exploring along the bottom edge of the map here. And yeah. Now if I'm doing this, I'm going to try very hard to fill out the bottom edge and press up against walls when it seems like I might not be able to see everything in the bottom edge. Okay, well this definitely looks non-traversable right here. Oh, and it was a secret to get through here, I guess because I walked through this darkness kind of area. That was reasonably called out by just kind of like the shape of the area, I feel like. So it's not extremely hard to find. And I think I can probably bounce this if I do things better. Also, can I preserve Bob's momentum like this? Yes. So Bob can do a bunch of bounces leading up to getting somewhere amazing. Doesn't look like there's anywhere I can actually go up here, though. So I think I do trust the map markings in that regard. This looks like another place where I might have to be... No, that was actually straightforward. I was going to say I might have to be a little careful. Check the little fairy hut. Someone is inside it. Oh, crap. <laughs> Don't like the guy? Um, it's... Mind if I hide here for a while? This is uncharacteristic of Dora. Go ahead. So who's in this little fairy hut? Dora is left behind to the left. Hi, you live here? Niles. God, no. It's an outpost. An outpost for what? There is bluestone in this area. Hmm, last time someone found a chunk of bluestone was like 50 years ago? I know. They're here, though. It's a family secret. So wait, it doesn't actually tell you where the stone is? Or is that, like, a secret within a secret? It's supposed to point me in the right direction. Help me out here. You can have some of the blue stone if we find something. Well, that is, if you promise to never reveal where the chunk is. Not to anyone. Except Quest? Yes. <laughs> I am Quest Getter. I'm coming with you. Interesting. 
And Dora was left behind. It looks like it's just above me that I'm trying to get to. Presumably I have to go, like, right up left. We'll leave Dora behind for now. Let's also check our inventory. Niles is a smoke fairy. And Dora is not currently with us. This is spooky looking. There are statues in this area. One is supposed one is supposed to help us find the blue stone. I know it isn't this one though. So there's gonna be at least that's what Dad told me. Statues that help us out. So I might have to interpret the statues at some point, possibly. I'm not I'm not sure exactly what I'm making of all of this. Also, how am I going to get upwards? I don't think Bob. Oops. Well, if I don't actually hit the right button. <laughs> Surprise! I hit the wrong button. Uh, to switch into Bob, he's definitely not going to be able to help us, but I don't think Bob is going to be able to help us here, because Bob's not going to be able to get enough height. Oh, I apparently wasn't pressing down that whole time to try to get as much momentum as possible. No, I want to be pressing up. Um, I think even while I'm falling, I want to be pressing up. Let's try that. Yeah, Bob bounced about back to the same height and then is slowly attenuating about one block less each time. And even if I were to... Oh, wait, hold on. I just realized there's a place to climb up here. Ha ha! Ah, observance. Sometimes I don't see things that are right in front of me. Okay, well, I could just fly around here. Temporary power-ups are pretty straightforward. Uh, my power button is which one? It's that one. All right. If I were blue stone, oh, I guess I would be that blue glowy stuff on the left. Uh, let's interact. The blue stone is supposed to be within these walls. Problem is, how do we reach it? Uh, am I not reaching it now? Uh, or now? There's definitely geometry in here. Oh, goodness. All right, I found a secret that we're definitely kind of like intended to find. I have a feeling I'm gonna fall down into this area and before I do, I wanna continue exploring along the right wall. You can't really tell what I'm doing, uh, but I'm pressing right as I climb along there. Uh, oh, and I, oh, oh. Maybe I can fall down to it from above. This is another new square. Oh, and I can't, uh, well, I'm down somewhere anyway. And these have some more of these, like, rib bone kind of things that we just saw on some of the lower levels. And the, uh, the bat black stuff above me looks kind of like the head of that goat kind of statue that we saw. Uh, that was supposed to point us in directions, maybe, or something. And I am able to go up here. I feel like... I feel like we're close to something, but I don't know what, and I don't know what I'm doing. All right, so there is a way to climb back down here, yes. And uh, where am I right now? There I am, okay. All right, question one. Can I get back to the blue stone screen from here? Yes, this is all retraversable. Question two. Is there any other way that I can go in here? Not that I can tell. Question three. Based on the geometry I just witnessed here, what could that blue teleporter sideways thingy possibly be useful for? Oh, it's to go... Well, no. I was going to say it's to go... Left over here, but I can just climb left over here. And that'll be another secret? Yeah. So we're in an area filled with secrets over here. Let's maybe see if there's a loop that we can complete. Looks like perhaps there will be. Oh, more secrets? Hold on. I feel like it's good to go ahead and get the secret finding. Oh! Interesting. If we don't ever get a light upgrade and I just have to press against walls in order to find these secrets, 
this could be tedious or difficult. I wonder. I wonder. <laughs> I just, I don't know the structure of this game. It's quite unusual. I don't know what to expect. So, this is where we came in, right? I guess we came in from a different direction. Oh, did we come in from a different direction? And if so, does that imply that maybe I could go this way and get there? No. Oops, and I want to do that the other way. If I do this, I don't think Bob can get there, and I don't think me can jump around a corner and recatch the wall higher than she started. I'm going to try it a few times, because I don't know that I've ever tried this in so much earnest. Yeah, I don't think so. And is Dora still here? This is where we kind of dropped her off, but she's not still here. And I didn't come up with a thing to do with the sideways blue teleporter. Oh, if I launched it from... Hold on. If I launched a sideways blue teleporter from right there... I've got my finger on my monitor. Uh, might go into there. So, well, no. It would just come out... If I was holding my finger in the correct spot, it would come out right here where me is currently holding onto the side. So I might want to do it somewhere to the left. Yeah. Let's grab the blue sideways teleport thingy. Or maybe I could use the green... Oh, hmm. Maybe I could use the green one and just fly... Well, the green one goes away the moment. But I could use it to fly and grab somewhere I haven't grabbed onto before. Let's try this. So, I've never been here. I'm pressing along the side. Yes! And we're in a secret place of some description. Oh. Which brought me here. Okay, well, we did learn something. And from here... Alright, this is... Do you have anything new to say? Statues in this area. One is supposed to help us find the blue stone. I know it isn't this one, though. So, the statues are supposed to help. So perhaps there is another statue I should really keep an eye out for that perhaps... I have either not laid eyes on or not appreciated that I've laid eyes on already. Oops, I I did an oops. <laughs> okay, back over to this screen. I suppose if I grab the blue, I could probably use it to at least cling onto the left wall here. So let's try that. It did get me to cling onto the left wall here, but there doesn't appear to be an entrance here. And if I grab the blue and use it to get here, like, that just brings me back in here, which I've already kind of known about and explored, and doesn't get me anywhere. So I think I should look around this general area for another one of these statues. Although that one, his arms are so... They feel like they're trying to tell me something. And I'm not doing a good job of listening. Okay, here's a statue. Oh, and I can interact here. We're looking for a statue that's supposed to point towards where we need to really go. This one isn't really pointing, though. Okay, so there's going to be a statue who's pointing. All right. Let's continue all around this area. So here's another statue. And it looks like he's like the original one, but his hands, have, he's broken down over time and his hands fell off. See the ore factor statue here? No, where is it? Oh, shut up. The hand is supposed to point out our path. Let's go there then. That's the problem, it's pointing down, but I've checked the tunnel, that tunnel loads of times, nothing there. You aren't really that clever, are you? Me, let's head to where the ore factor points. Or, well, you get what I mean. I see. So, his hand appeared to be pointing downwards, but perhaps the broken hand over here is actually 
Well, yeah, it should have been pointing leftwards uh, if it hadn't fallen off and broken off, because I can see the connection points. So it would have been held high and pointing to the left, so I need to go this way. Okay, so there is another secret over here. However, now where am I? Is there a brightness control in this game? I should have inspected this many times earlier before. Uh, doesn't appear so. All right, I'm just having trouble spotting my character at all times. Okay, I found a way to climb up, which presumably, yes, was another secret to the extent that the map markings that have narrow openings between rooms are considered secrets by yours truly. So now I'm running across the ceiling. And presumably... No, I'm still running across the ceiling. Oh, okay, so now I'm in a new spot. And... I don't know that there's a statue pointing over here. And so when I'm here... Oh, I can continue this way. And then... Oh, now I'm here. Which is also a spot I haven't been before. Right, right, right. And then I haven't been down here. And now where am I? I'm in the ceiling up here in the upper right. And maybe the blue stone's right below me and I'm going to get to it. Or maybe it's this bit of blue stone. And now I'm here. The blue stone. It's supposed to be here. I can feel it. You can feel it? Really? Probably no. We could be anywhere. Ask your sprite to dig. This must be the spot. Okay, me? Sure, I'll just dig a little. Wow, see this? Say it. It's just one stone. Yep, and you get to keep it. Really? But that's all we found. Thanks. They're all around, and now I know how to get here. That's the important part. Let's head back. Okay, uh, plus one blue stone. Let's take a look. It's pretty. The Myriadus have been unable to link this unusual stone to a goddess. For the time being, it's simply called blue stone. So are those stones going to be linked to goddesses? Okay. This was... This was a definitely more... convoluted and involved kind of task than previous ones that we have done. And so I appreciate that. It was just the kind of... I don't know, mixing up the game so that something different is happening that I was looking forward to. Now, unfortunately, I don't see any shortcuts back. Here's one, I suppose. And I wonder if uh, we're going to lose this fairy and get Dora back, or what happens? Let's bring him back to his fairy box. If I can remember how to get back to his fairy box. I guess there's multiple ways that I could get back there, and I'm choosing this one. Interesting. So I have the blue stone. He's still with me. What about Dora? Please, don't tell anyone about the blue stone. Relax. I already said we won't. Great. Thanks for... Wait. Who's there? I can see you. Er, hi. So, y'all been looking for bluestone? What the heck? <laughs> I, uh, I had an idea um, that I'm just going to substitute some words so I can read more of the dialogue um, while staying as, I don't know, the way that I prefer to speak. <laughs> Take it easy. She's cool. You can trust her. Trust Dora? You really have no clue, do you? Hey, I'm... From the bottom of my heart, Go. Snickerdoodles. Yourself. <laughs> Nobody talks like that to Dora. Well, except me sometimes. I guess I do that. But still. I don't give a darn. Should have never told you about that. Hey, listen. Forget it. He left. Okay, so we got Dora back. Niles left. Apparently Dora and Niles have a history. Um... Yes, it seems that kind of like all of the characters in this game 
uh, are flawed. Not just in that they curse more than I like, but also um, everybody seems to have like their good and bad points and different things. Um, okay, so we finished the quest. We got Bluestone. Um, and hmm, now I have to make choices. You know what? This is the very bottom left corner of the map. Have I seen a save point anywhere near here? I have not. He didn't give me a chance to say something. Who is he? We had a relationship once. Really? With that guy? Glad it's over then. When? A few years ago before the Fairy Springs. Or a few years before. Before or after that Apo guy? It wasn't before, but it was definitely before or after. <laughs> anyway, Niles didn't know. Dora? I take it he wasn't happy to find out. No, not at all. Darn. What a guy. Okay. Um, so Dora had past multiple relationships. I kind of got her into trouble with her multiple partners, who presumably presumed exclusivity. Um, I don't see a way to go that way, but then I guess back up this way would get me to the lower left, perhaps. So let's go explore that, and perhaps there'll be a save point over there, too. And so, Niles doesn't like Dora. And Celia is shocked to discover that Nora has any non-wholesome backstory, it sounded like. And so... Yeah, the characters are getting more depth, even if I don't love the choice of words in the writing. And let's see, yeah, I did this before. Is there another way to go further to the left from here? If not, well... Hmm. This is the area of secrets, so I want to more carefully explore the left-hand wall for things like this. Great. All right. Invisible geometry, not my favorite thing in video games. But, I do like finding secrets. Hmm, this just brought me back up here, though. I guess I'd seen this before, hadn't I? Maybe? But I don't see a way to get further along the left-hand wall. Yeah, I don't see a way to get further along the left-hand wall. Unless there was a way back over here that I didn't see. But no, I'm pressing along the left and I'm just climbing straight upwards. So that appears to be the last of that branch of possible secret exits. Yeah, so I have a feeling we can't go that way from here. Yeah, a number of these screens might be very difficult to get to. All right, well, I do wish to find a save, but there's also unexplored screens over here, and since the explored screens don't have a save, I guess that means we're going to continue on some of the unexplored ones. That means going down and a few screens to the right. Although, can I traverse this screen over here? I don't remember for sure. Also, the bones down here must have been of some largest creature. Although, I think we are pretty small in the scheme of things. Well, the fairies are definitely small. I'm not sure about the uh, Myriadus people. Oh! Uh, oh, it's safe down here. This looked a little bit like um, the green poison water or whatever, but in fact, it's just a little darkened area, and it's all traversable. Um, okay, so the map suggests I can go upwards from here. Bob? Care to do the honors? Great. Let's try the left-hand side first. Looks like that's closed off. All right. Right-hand side does have a way to go that's a secret and also suggests that I could also go up. Bob, what do you have to say about that? Bob says he's not sure. Uh, for now, let's take our right-hand side secret. So over here... Uh, well, Comet Form could probably get us up either in this screen or in the next one. 
And thank you, Rogue Legacy, for giving me words to describe this particular power. Oops, I used it too early. Or I shouldn't have bumped into the wall. So yeah, actually, if I just am careful with my steering... Oh! <laughs> well, there's another one down here. It's all fine. Okay. I can climb up here. Looks like I probably could have gone higher. There's something on the ceiling above me there. I guess it's a tiny little house. So yeah, I could probably go higher using Comet Form again, if I'm clever and careful. So if I go straight up, I think this will run out before I get to where I'm going. But if I... There's a few things I could do. Oops. Uh, what if I bounce up high? Oops. That's not what I meant to do. What if I... Bounce up high, turn into me in power. That should give me a few more squares. Still not quite enough. What if I use this one at the last moment over here? That'll probably do it. So what if I now use it? There we go. That'll get me up here. And another screen that doesn't look like its own. Well, I've been here. And we never found a way down. So yeah, it's definitely Comet Form that's going to get me there. Okay, so let's go back down here then. Oops, that's fine. So from here, left and up. Uh, remind me the path. It's through here. Okay, so Comet Form brings me up here. So now I'm here. Great. And over here, where am I going? All right, this looks like some sort of structure. There's some bricks. And it looks like it's gonna be the dead end as the last room on this portion of the map. Oh my goodness. And it's a doozy. What does this red button even do? The red button seems to already be pressed and held down, perhaps? There is an inventory item in the upper left. And then it looks like there's also a way to walk back across the top once I do this once. Not sure what that red button is for. Let's just try some stuff. So that shields me, presumably. And then this is the usual timed button. So I want this to be held open for a certain amount of time. And then what am I going to do? I want to go after that right one circles around, run out here, become Bob. Yeah, I think I see what to do. Oh, but the green button was held down too long and now I don't have anywhere to go. So... Oh, and it resets me here. That's kind of nice. So how long do I think this button needs to be held down? Probably just like that amount of time, maybe. There we go. And I obtained, that looks like a quarter. Silver coin. All right. That is different from the bronze coin and from the hold coin. All right, well, we obtained another coin, which is fantastic. And I think I see the way out of here safely, which involves doing this. The red button, I see, resets all of the other buttons in the puzzle. All right, so we solved something at least. And I don't think I will need to go back there, but we're still looking for a save point. All right, so I did some maze solving skills. I did some platforming solving skills. I learned some more backstory about some of my main fairy characters. So I think at this point we have to call it a productive episode. Uh, let's try using my power just to fly across here. And yeah, I've been upwards, so let's go rightwards. And hope eventually we're going to find our way to a save point.
All right, that blue, I'm not sure what it would have been used for. There is a save point to the left. All right, so we're here, and presumably this is a save screen. Except there's no light over here. It wants me to go upwards now. All right, can I climb up there? I can kind of see where the hole in the ceiling is. Yeah, Bob can get me up here. And then me. And we have to travel even further upwards. I am capable. There we go. All right. Okay, well, we added some more squares to the map. We got very close to one bell and found a different toll that we can pay with various forms of currency. Um, yeah, all right. I guess I'll call that a productive episode. I hope as always that you all are having a great day and I will see you again soon with more Commit Underground. For now, bye-bye.